What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So the other day Apple released Mac OS 10.11 El Capitan, the latest major release for their Mac OS. Now even though El Capitan is a brand new name, 10.11 doesn't have too many major changes, but I thought I would go through some of the more interesting ones and show you guys what you can expect if you decide to upgrade. So first off, one quick change with the cursor, if you find yourself losing it on the screen a lot, moving around quickly on the trackpad or the mouse will enlarge the cursor on screen and allow you to see it better. One of the biggest changes in El Capitan is how spotlight search functions. So to start off, you can now move the spotlight window around and also resize it, which is pretty convenient. Spotlight also now supports more natural and specific language, so you can ask it to search for emails from YouTube, for example, or from the month of September, and it understands what you mean. And this works with emails, messages, files, folders, applications, and anything else on your computer. You can also search for the weather in your area, and Spotlight will bring up the current weather conditions as well as the weekly forecast. Spotlight can now also give you information on sports, so typing in any team name from most major sports will allow you to see recent scores and even the upcoming schedule. Mission Control has also been revamped, so dragging and dropping an application into Mission Control will launch it into full screen and also create a new desktop. Dragging two applications on top of each other in Mission Control will launch them into split screen mode just like we see in iOS 9 on the iPads, and while in split screen mode you can also resize the windows for the applications. A couple new features have also been added to Safari including pinned tabs, so dragging a tab all the way to the left will pin it in Safari, and when you quit and reopen Safari, the pinned tabs will remain there unchanged and ready to view once again. You can also now see which window or tab sound is coming from in Safari, and you also have the ability to mute the sound from the current tabs you're in or any of the tabs that are playing sound in the background, which is actually a really neat feature. Notes has also been changed quite a bit and now includes a recently deleted section and the ability to organize notes into folders. You also have some rich text editing functionality now, including titles, headings, and lists. It's not a full text editor by any means, but you can add a little more depth and organization to your notes more easily. You even have checklists like bullet points that allow you to check and uncheck different things on your lists. You can also quickly insert any photos you have saved on your computer into your notes. In mail, using your trackpad, you can slide across an email to quickly delete it, which is similar to how it works on iOS. Mail also supports multiple tabs now, so in full screen mode you can compose a number of different emails side by side, and instead of having a whole bunch of windows open for every new email you make, you can have them open in different tabs all in the same window. Disk Utility has a brand new look and feel, and viewing your different partitions you can see what kinds of files are taking up space on your hard drive, similar to how it displays in iTunes. Now even though El Capitan doesn't pack a lot of new features, the biggest changes are all under the hood. In general, you can expect faster app launching and switching, and an overall snappier feel when navigating around your Mac. For older computers, you may not necessarily notice a difference, but for current Macs like my MacBook, I can say the difference is fairly noticeable. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick video, definitely let me know what you think of El Capitan in the comments below and if you'll be upgrading. Also be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.